What's up everybody? How y'all doing? I uh, know I hadn't put out a video for a few days. Uh, we are under lockdown. Uh, we do... We haven't had any positive tests of corona in the family. But we had a couple of our m members, yeah, members of the family, uh, who were in direct contact with people who did test positive. Uh, so yeah, this is the end of week one. Uh, and, and I'm getting a little cabin fever. <laughs> it Okay, not what the video is going to be about, but y'all got to let me vent here. Okay, it is November, and I'm me. <laughs> and for my fellow hunters out there, you know that November, that is when you want to be in the woods. So even though I'm locked down, I uh, can't go to work because I might spread it to people at work, I can't even go hunting. And, and this is, it, it, it's, it's driving me crazy. Um, not fun. Uh, but I'm trying to be a good boy. You know, we're, we're staying away from folks and all that other good stuff. We've called our family and said, you know, hey, y'all might not want to come over till we know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're under lockdown here. Um, wife did go to the grocery store a few days ago because uh, we knew we were probably going to be in the house for a while uh so the food and stuff yeah we were good on we got all that but there were some little things you know how the things you don't think about you know it's like well we better get this and that so she did um but while she was there and what i was going to speak about uh is i was preaching all summer about make sure you're stocking up now stock up now stock up now we know that when fall comes when school starts when all this they're gonna go right back through the roof again and that's where we're at right now um yeah the cases are going crazy uh and she was at a target in our area and she wasn't thinking much about it, but she was rolling by the paper goods and she said there was no paper towels or toilet paper in the Target. Um, I think Target is pretty much nascent nationwide. Uh, so you guys know how large these stores are. How do you not have any, okay? And that's what it, people are getting ready again. People are seeing the th cases go up, so now they start to panic buying. Uh, she did want to get a few more rolls of paper towels, so she had to stop at another little store and get some. But, uh, yeah, so we're starting to see it. Um, toilet paper, paper towels coming off the shelves. I don't know that we're going to see the, uh, hand sanitizers and stuff flying off the shelves. I think people have been doing a good job of keeping that stuff. And plus with everybody and their brother right now making hand sanitizer and everything. Uh, one thing I still haven't been able to find, but find, yeah, is rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, since this whole thing started in February, I think I have found a total of seven bottles and I bought every single one of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all of the stores, uh, as soon as they get in the end, it's gone. Um, now you can buy the isopropyl that other manufacturers are making now that they are not a isopropyl alcohol manufacturer, but they distill, you know, drinkable alcohol and they started making that and, and it's awesome. It is. It's great. But the prices, <laughs> it's like it's cheaper to buy like Jim Bean or Jack Daniels than it is isopropyl alcohol the same amount, right? Uh, it, it's kind of crazy. Uh, but anyway, yeah, stuff starting to come off the shelves. Um, I hope, I pray you guys have gone, a, gone ahead and got your stuff. 
I'm going to say it again, we're still seeing in our area here, the grocery stores are still having discounted prices on their turkeys. Uh, yeah, throw the turkeys in the freezer, guys. Uh, if nothing more than, heck, come July, you guys decide you want a turkey, go pull one out. I mean, you know, meat, 69 cents a pound. Uh, right now, they're 99 cents a pound. Um, but even at that, if you're comparing that to uh, beef, which ranges from $3 for the cheap stuff and up, you know, uh, even for the cheapest cuts of beef, that 99 cent turkey, you're getting a lot more meat. Uh, and I don't even care if you're talking about pork or chicken. I mean, that, that's cheaper than you can buy chicken in a lot of places. Um, Yes, I'm back out in the vehicle because I don't have any little kids rolling around. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, do some uh, initial review videos here in the next few days. Um, I can't get out and really try them out, but like I said, I like doing the initial reviews, my initial thoughts, use it for a little bit, and then come back and tell you guys uh, what, what I think. But uh, make sure you're stocking up on your stuff. Uh, and like I said, guys, starting to see the stuff fly off the shelves. Um, we're not going to get into the politics today. We'll just keep it at this. Uh, but what are you seeing in your neck of the woods? What, uh, what are you starting to see people are trending toward once again? Are you seeing certain items coming off the shelves? Uh, let us know about that. Uh, put it in the comments, please. That way anybody else that watches this video, it's like I got a hole right here. My beard's all discombobulated. <laughs> uh, but put it in the comments, that way people reading it, uh, maybe the shortage of TP and paper towels that I'm seeing here hasn't hit you guys yet, and you can have a couple days head start. Go out there and grab some, okay? And that pertains to whatever you're seeing. Uh, but uh, anyway, prices in the grocery store right now are, are good. That They're fine. Like always, stock up on the food, guys. Put it away. <sighs> Excuse me. Always burping on film, and I don't ever burp. Um, but yeah, stock up on the stuff. Keep yourself healthy. Uh, you are going to... Anybody with a brain knows that a week after Thanksgiving, you think the coronavirus is going up now, it's gonna go stupid. And yes, yeah, stuff's gonna be locked down. Um, I'm sure you guys already know, but there are certain governors out there that are wanting to limit what you can do in your own home and are wanting to force you to wear a mask in your own home. Uh, I'm not big on people telling us what we can and cannot do, especially in our own home. Um, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys to uh, rant and rave if you want. It's pretty simple. It's, it's stupid. Uh, they've literally got where I was watching something. Uh, no, it was New York. Yeah, Okono. And one of his sheriffs of one of the counties in New York said, I'm not going to enforce that. And, of course, he's all upset. Uh, but it's that's why those local elections are so important, guys. I've told you about this before. Um, a lot of people, they come out every four years and they vote for the president. And that's about it. Uh, most people don't know who's running for sheriff, what the guy's like, what he is, or anything. You know, well, his name sounds nice. <laughs> uh, but get involved in your local politics, guys. Um, start on the local level, and then it'll work up. Um, but yeah, the sheriff said, no, we're, we're not going to do that. And, uh, and my hat's off to the guy for it. Um, because when it comes to enforcing these things or you know if you're talking about in the future where they decide to come grab all our guns right who's going to be doing it it's going to be the local cops uh, and if you've got the sheriff in your county that doesn't agree with that 
it's going to go make things go a lot easier for you. Uh, but get involved in your local politics. Uh, pay attention to who's doing what, what judges this and everything else. Just pay attention. I mean, it takes five minutes. You know what I mean? If, if that's all you got, look them up, see what they stand for, and, and make your make your judgment call. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, in New York, and I'm I'm trying to understand this. Uh, they can't just come in and count the number of people in your house. You know that they can't do that. But if a neighbor calls and says, I just saw grandma and grandpa going in their house, there you go, and, <laughs> and they can come in. Uh, I hope that our law enforcement guys out there are not so stupid as to do that because you're going to see a lot of problems. If they're going to start coming into homes to tell people what they can and can't do, yeah, that's not going to be good. But anyway, like I said, I'm trying to be a good boy, keeping my stel my, myself and my family separated from everybody. Uh, and frankly, I think uh, the baby of the house, I think he already had it back in February. Um, he was in the hospital for a few days and the doctors didn't really know what was going on. He just wasn't getting any better. Uh, in fact, we had him to the ER three different times. Uh, yeah, hundred and some dollars a pop for that. Thanks, Doc. Uh, but the third time is when they finally said, okay, yeah, we, we gotta, we gotta get a bed for this guy. Uh, and they hooked him up with hoses and everything else, and, and he was not digging it. Dude ripped my heart out. Uh, but thankfully, he pulled through. Um... But yeah, they didn't, uh, couldn't figure out what was going on with him. Um, he was sick. He just wasn't getting any better. You know, his blood oxygen was, was lower. Wasn't critical. Thank, thank the Lord. Uh, but, uh, yeah, after a couple days in there, uh, he just started getting better all of a sudden. Th once again, thank you God for that. Um, yeah, there were a couple of real nervous days there. Um, you know, I had heard of the coronavirus. I had heard about it back in December when you saw China with all their ex excavators out there clearing land for this hospitals. And I'm like, whoa, something's up. <laughs> um, but it hadn't fully hit here in the States yet. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, w w we think that uh, he already had it in our, in our household. Pretty much if one person has something, we all got it, okay? We're very close family. We're, we're constantly around one another's, uh, one another. If you got a drink there and the baby sees it, yeah, it, he's drinking it. Uh, <laughs> they say please, okay? They, I at least got them doing that. They can say please. But, uh, yeah, like I said, trying to be good, trying to, trying to lock down just in case we are carrying it if we're those asymptomatic carriers and I'm not even sure if you can pass it on but we're trying to do what we're supposed to do um but anyway yeah that's about it I ain't dead I'm still here <laughs> just uh just locked down getting a little bit of cabin fever uh and uh just trying to make it through so uh stock up on your stuff guys keep uh keep your eyes out uh, put it in the comments when you see certain things it, it helps out and, and that's about it. So thanks a lot, guys.